What's up and welcome to Surging Ahead. This is Brett and today we're going to talk about Elon Musk's recent comments on FSD Beta 9 as well as his updates upon a possible rollout of Vision only uh, autopilot to the entire fleet of production cars and a little bit about the history of radar in the autopilot suite. So stick around and we'll dive right in. Okay, so the first piece of interest we'll talk about here is Elon's response to Gary Black, where Gary asked, now how about that FSD V9 beta expansion and subscription launch, Elon? That's what we're all waiting for. Elon replied to that, we have to focus on removing radar and confirming safety. That release goes out next week to US production. Then a week or two to polish Pure Vision FSD and V9 beta will release. The difference between V8 and V9 is gigantic. So there are a couple of interesting things in this particular quote. What's sort of surprising to me is he seems to be implying that a Pure Vision version of Autopilot will release into production next week, which would then be followed by the polished Pure Vision FSD and V9 beta release. So he almost seems to be saying that Pure Vision is going into the standard autopilot suite before the FSD beta, which is really intriguing if I'm interpreting that correctly. So yeah, that's that's very interesting. I also did a little bit of research on the Pure Vision stuff because it was I had some questions on where it was at from a safety perspective and what Tesla thought about it. So to preface my research on the radar integration with Tesla's full self-driving suite, I wanted to bring up a tweet thread, which I have brought up in previous videos. So apologize if this isn't new to you, but I wanted to return to this particular thread because I think it paints a good picture of where we're actually at as far as Tesla's beliefs with what they are bringing to the system by removing radar. So, in a response to Holmar's catalog, can you tell us more about the thinking behind the fear vision approach? Lots of people arguing no radar is a step backwards. Why did you guys decide it was better not to use it? To which Elon replied, when radar and vision disagree, which one do you believe? Vision has much more precision, so better to double down on vision than to do sensor fusion. To which Tesla Audrey replied, if I'm a third car in a row and the first one stops, my Model 3 can detect that by bouncing the radar waves underneath the car directly in front. Will this still work on pure vision? To which Elon then replied, these things are best thought of as probabilities. There are five forward-facing cameras. It is highly likely that at least one of them will see multiple cars ahead. So going from that, I thought, well, what has Tesla been saying about radar? What has been their stance on it? And is this a sudden change or what's really going on here? Why the shift to vision only? And I found this article from September 11th, 2016, um, in which they say, the radar was added to all Tesla vehicles in October 2014 as part of the autopilot hardware suite but was only meant to be a supplementary sensor to the primary camera and image processing system. After careful consideration, we now believe it can be used as a primary control sensor without requiring the camera to confirm visual image recognition. So that's very interesting. Um, they do go on to say that some of the nice parts about radar is it can travel easily through fog, dust, and rain, Tesla will also be able to bounce the radar signal under a vehicle in front using the radar pulse signature and photon time of flight to distinguish the signal and still break when a tailing car is opaque to both vision and radar. So they did recognize early on that there were some advantages to radar, but they also talk about some of the difficulties, which we still see today. Um, that third part is a lot more difficult. When the car is approaching an overhead highway road sign posted on a rise or a bridge in the road underneath, this often looks like a collision course. The navigation data and high accuracy of the GPS are not enough to know whether the car will pass under the object or not. By the time the car is close and the road pitch changes, it's too late to brake. 
So what we get as a result of that is what's known as phantom braking, where the car will brake for there seemingly being nothing in the way. Um, now Tesla did think that they could handle this through fleet learning and whatever else. But what I do find most interesting about this whole article is Tesla talks about how radar was never supposed to be a primary sensor. They only made it a primary sensor in the suite after a tragic accident, which took the life of a person um, that uh, was watching Harry Potter in their vehicle and ran through a semi and perished. Um, and at this point, they started investigating the possible uses for radar and thought, hey, we can make this into a primary safety system. Um, and now, years later, they're kind of going back to that decision and saying, maybe that wasn't the right one. Maybe making the fusion between the two systems causes more issues than it does solve problems. And we've gone far enough with the vision only approach to be able to do a very good job of replacing radar. Um, and that seems to be where Tesla thinks they are today. And they seem to be trying to validate that approach by having the safety be higher than what it would be with radar. So I, I found it truly interesting to see that this was actually their original approach and not a change in course they made somewhere along the way. And that they're in fact reverting back to an original approach rather than just making a change almost seemingly out of nowhere. So that does help to give me some confidence in this whole thing. Not that I needed it. The moment they dropped FSD beta 9 download button, I'd have downloaded it just as quick as anybody else and have been experimenting with that software. So still, I find it nice to have that bit of peace of mind that this was actually kind of their original plan and they're just returning to that. Um, but moving on with the thread of tweets that Elon gave on the timeline for the beta and autopilot release, um, he was then asked, any details on the V9 beta expansion? Is it still going to be pre-selected or people selected by Tesla who have applied? And to which Elon Musk said, I think we are maybe a month or two away from wide beta, but these things are hard to predict accurately. The work we had to do for pure vision driving was needed for FSD. So much more progress has been made than it would seem. Um, so this is kind of interesting um, when he talks about, first off, he doesn't actually answer the question on what the beta release will be. Is it still a button? Is it going to be a group of people that are selected up to 10,000? Um, in some ways, I kind of don't care. I, I would love to see a button, but more than that right now, I just love to see some videos of where this thing's progressed. Uh, it's been oddly silent on this front. Uh, you know, we were spoiled with videos of new beta releases every couple of weeks, and these last couple of months have been a little slow um, in following Tesla news. So I'll just be excited to see some sort of update on the project progress of this, but it would be nice you know, I selfishly would love to see a download button sooner or later. Uh, but he also seems to step back the the step change to which he said, the work we have for pure vision driving was needed for FSD. So much more progress has been made than it would seem. So kind of interesting that when we see this new version, it may not be easily to differentiate from the common observer the actual changes is kind of what I'm interpreting there, but I'm still very excited to see what, what comes with it. Um, I guess in a lot of ways, just having a new version where they completely strip out radar and only using vision that is of equal quality to what they've been doing on the stack that had radar, I guess that would be extremely impressive. So regardless, I'll be interested to see what's there. Anyway, there were further questions asking about smart summon functionality in Europe, to which Elon said, end of year, along with FSD, provided we get regulatory approval, smart summon is just a subset of FSD. And then the final one here that I found really interesting was Leo Williams asking, very exciting, will pure vision eliminate the phantom braking with bridges overpasses? To which Elon Musk simply replies, yes. So those are the updates we have on the FSD beta, as well as the Pure Vision stack possibly coming to standard autopilot and non-beta FSD versions. And some small thoughts on kind of Tesla's original intention 
with radar, which I found to be extremely interesting. Um, so it's exciting to see some updates. Um, I would still love to be, I guess I'd be even more excited if we actually saw a rollout very soon, but you know, just the end of radio silence is always a good thing. So the more information we get, even if it's just, Hey, it's taking a little longer, it'll be here eventually. It's still information that we'd like to see. So anyway, I thought these information, these developments were interesting. Um, I hope you thought so as well. But this has been Brett with Surging Ahead. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos from me, please click that subscribe button. But thanks for watching and have a great day.